What's up guys, welcome back to A Trucker's Life. I'm Jorge Navarro. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you've already been subscribed, welcome back guys. And sorry I missed a video. Plans just didn't work out for me to make the video the other day because I was uh, gonna go into downtown Charlotte and uh, it started raining or the weather got really bad. So I was gonna go in uh, my bike, matter of fact. And uh, yeah, things didn't work out so I couldn't make a video. And uh, that's all I had planned for that, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, that's what happens sometimes and yes i'm in an alley no not really i'm actually at a lowe's truck stop checking out this beautiful beautiful volvo and it seems like it's dedicated to uh sahira sahira ray re that's actually the name of the, on the truck so um and it says on the side team camacho and they are a FedEx critical custom critical always wondered what custom critical what kind of stuff do they haul uh, kind of don't want to go over there and intrude them she's not getting out of the truck and uh, maybe they're just trying to avoid uh, people or I don't know I don't want to go up there and uh, mess with them while they're getting fuel but I've always wondered guys any of you guys know what custom critical means for FedEx seems like it's something important and it's got to pay kind of decent but then again they're team drivers and that might be you know the only thing that they have is this truck i mean as far as uh, you know where they live so that's why they have such a beautiful beautiful truck but they might not they might have a beautiful beautiful house as well can't can't uh uh jump to any conclusions but being able to be out could you could you guys do it i don't know could you guys uh, be out with your wife? It looks like it's a husband and wife uh, team. I'm not sure if it is or not. That's what it looks like. Could you handle being out on the road for, um, yeah, just being out on the road, like living on the road with uh, the whole family? I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. But yeah. I'm just uh, here hanging out, waiting for a shower, actually. Ooh, finally got out the shower, feeling A-OK. -okay. Just when you take that shower, just like brings you back to life. Well, I guess it does me. I'm pretty sure it does a lot of you, too. <laughs> but uh, about to hit the road. I'm going to set y'all up back here again. I don't know why. Because I thought it was kind of cool, different different spot to have y'all hang out. <laughs> Just don't fall off, whatever y'all do, because that won't hurt. I hate to lose you guys. <laughs> really, I just hate to lose my GoPro, but you know what I mean. All right, let's go.
car guys going around the Atlanta Loop 285. That's a nice Porsche. And it's been uh, drizzling off and on. I think this is all bands from uh, the first hurricane, which has uh, really calmed itself way down. And, uh, but the one I'm more concerned about is Hurricane Laura, which is the one that's supposedly going to hit um, my area more so. So, I'm just going to push through, guys. I'm going to push through. i got to get to my family one way or another. If it gets too bad, then we're going to have to stop, but... The goal is uh, getting this load off and getting uh, down to my family. Uh, we prepared, they already prepared for everything. Got uh, water, food, and uh, gas in both cars, so we're good when it comes to that. Our area is not very susceptible for, uh, for uh, flooding. I think we're good. We're so far inland. Uh, we're about 100, probably a little over 100 miles or about 100 miles from, actually 100 miles from uh, from the coast. So I think we're far enough in where we're not going to get a lot of the wind. But then again, you know, those uh, hurricanes, they create tornadoes as well. So something that we have to look out for but my prayers go out to everybody that's uh, in its path and hopefully that uh, we all make it through okay and also for everybody in uh, in the path of all the uh, fires like California my prayers are out for you guys as well as if things uh, 2020 couldn't get any worse right ready for it to be over with <laughs> to tell you the truth but uh only because it's over right what's gonna what's gonna change next year well hopefully we're gonna hope for a lot better year than this year for sure but uh it's definitely a little scary my son is uh the one that's tripping a little more than uh my girls he's uh making sure that we have our coolers like he's more he, he's more into preparing for stuff so he's uh, all about getting coolers and getting them filled with ice and having the water and, and all that kind of stuff so but I think uh, I think we should be fine like I was saying we don't flood as much or we don't flood in my area um, Hurricane Harvey was one of the worst storms of all times and we didn't even get close to flooding uh, where I live so hopefully that stays that way and this storm here doesn't change that. I do have my sister that she is actually closer to the coast and there's a huge canal behind her house but last time um, the hurt, uh, with Harvey the water got up to her back uh, door, but it didn't go in the house, which is amazing. So that's good. So I think she should be fine as well, but she's more susceptible to winds because she's closer to Houston. Very serious, serious situation. I know I am uh, praying for everybody. And uh, like I was saying, see I mean th these are the bands of one of the hurricanes all the way up in Atlanta and we've been having this rain off and on here for a while already but this is getting a little a little more rain a little more cloud cover as I go as I go west uh, I'm headed to uh, headed to uh, Texas which is uh, gonna be gonna be delivering around the Longview Tyler area Now about 
have to go under right above these these bridges right here that you see guys above us are actually where the airplanes go across from the runway there's a runway to my left and the airplanes actually uh, drive over these big old humongous bridges tunnel whatever you want to call it pretty cool uh oh the dump truck stuck look at there's a dump truck stuck right there on the right Anyways guys, I'm going to continue moving on, slowly but surely. Tomorrow I'm going to be going through uh, a town that I've been wanting to go through for a while. Too bad I don't have time to actually stop and go explore. Um, Selma, Selma, Alabama, a lot of history there. A lot of civil rights history there. I love those type of things. But would love to cross the bridge on the bike, but unfortunately I'm not gonna have time for none of that. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. Oh, I need to get over. And I'm coming over. <laughs> oh no. Like my daughter tells me, don't sing dad, don't sing. <laughs> Stick to driving trucks. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Will do. Anyways, guys, as time progresses, uh, if anything gets a little crazier, we'll try to film it. But it's going to be nighttime. It almost is now. So as you can tell, the video is kind of fuzzy. And that's unfortunately what happens with cameras at night unless you have a very, very expensive lens. And this is actually on the GoPro, so no expensive lens on the GoPro. <laughs> Let's go through another little tunnel right here. Last little section before we leave. headed out of Atlanta and as you can tell the uh, cloud cover is pretty it's, I mean it's completely covered in clouds right, right now so but not any bad rain that's a good thing so yeah guys um, hope you guys enjoyed that truck that we saw earlier that was a beautiful truck Shout out to the Camacho family. That's who the truck belonged to. Shout out to them. Hope you guys have a safe trip wherever you're going. So yeah guys, uh, thank you guys again for joining me one more time. It's going to be about it for the video today. Guys, don't forget to be kind to one another help anybody needs help anybody contemplating suicide 1-800-273-8255 military men and women thank you so much for your service and uh, hopefully see you guys soon don't forget guys love you guys peace